Welcome back you guys, and some of the rookies from the 2017 NBA Draft have exceeded their first year expectations, but let's talk about what some of them were doing in high school and how they started to get attention from Division I schools. Not every single rookie will be on here, but these are the ones I found interesting to read about. As always, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe if you like NBA and basketball videos. Let's see if the channel can hit 78,000 subscribers before the year ends. And let's try to hit 800 likes in the first day on this and go into the first player. Before Donovan Mitchell was leading all rookies in scoring, he went to high school in Connecticut before transferring to Brewster Academy in New Hampshire. But basketball was not his only sport. He also played baseball and Donovan was pretty good at it. Baseball was the sport he wanted to go to college for. He played pitcher and shortstop, but he broke his wrist in a sophomore baseball game, which also ended his AAU summer basketball season. Mitchell is quoted saying the injury forced him to reevaluate his athletic goals and that missing the summer AAU basketball season built that hunger back inside of him to focus on hoops. Donovan got a lot of attention from scouts before the start of his senior year when he was named an all-star at the Reebok Breakout Classic in Philadelphia. In his senior year at Brewster Academy, Mitchell built off of that momentum at the Breakout Classic. He was the number one ranked player in New Hampshire and the 14th ranked shooting guard, according to ESPN scouting site. Providence was recruiting him really hard, but he ended up committing to Louisville. Growing up in Flint, Michigan, Kyle Kuzma saw gang violence, poverty, and because of the water crisis in Flint, he couldn't drink water out of the tap or open his mouth in the shower. He did not want this to be his life after high school, and Kyle saw basketball as his way out. In his junior year, Kuzma was averaging 18 points, 14 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 blocks per game. Kuzma at this time was about 6'6", six six, 175 pounds, and even though he was one of the best players in the state, not too many high-level Division I schools were looking to have him come play for them. The biggest schools interested were the University of Detroit and Oakland University. Kuzma needed a stronger path to the NBA, so before the start of his senior year, he sent tapes of him shooting at a YMCA to prep schools. And it caught the eye of the head coach at Rise Academy in Philadelphia, and that coach immediately brought him in. He was playing better competition in Philly, and he got his averages up to 22 points and 7 rebounds. He got offers from UConn, Tennessee, and Oklahoma State, but he decided to go to Utah. John Collins, the first round selection for the Hawks, said he did not start taking basketball seriously until high school when he got a growth spurt. His mom was in the Air Force and his dad was in the Navy, so John was moving around a lot in his earlier years, but finally settled down in West Palm, Florida. John started to lose weight and began to work on his jumping ability, and he was immediately known for his rebounding and athletic dunks underneath the rim. John says that a game in his senior year was when he realized he could make it to the NBA. He says that a guy in the crowd was yelling to the other team to make John Collins do something else but dunk. John took this as a challenge and made it a point to score all of his points by dunks. He scored 26 points and grabbed 15 rebounds in that game. Now on to Jason Tatum, definitely one of the more accomplished high school players out of all the rookies on here. He played high school ball in Missouri and immediately established himself as one of the best players in his freshman and sophomore year. Very early on, Tatum was known for his length, athleticism, and basketball IQ. He went from averaging 13 points and 6 rebounds in his freshman year to 26 points and 11 rebounds in his sophomore year. He would build off of that momentum in his sophomore year and continue to average a double-double in his junior year. His college choices came down to four schools, Duke, Kentucky, UNC, and St. Louis. He chose Duke before the start of his senior year. Tatum dropped over 40 points six times in his senior year, led his team to the state championship, and was selected as the Gatorade National Player of the Year. Two of his 40-point games came against Malik Monk and Markel Fultz's high school teams. Not to mention he was ranked the third best player in his class by ESPN and was selected to play in the McDonald's All-American game. 
Now on to De'Aaron Fox, the fifth pick for the Sacramento Kings. He played high school ball in Texas, and it was in his sophomore year where he proved to be the go-to playmaker on the team and someone that scouts needed to go see in person. He was averaging 22 points and led his high school team to the state playoffs, and every year Fox bumped his scoring averages up. He went from putting up 24 points per game in his junior year to 31 in his senior year. He was considering Kansas, Louisville, and other schools, but he decided to accept a scholarship to play at Kentucky. A little interesting note about Fox, both the Aaron Fox and his dad say that he learned a lot of basketball by playing hours of NBA 2K. Now on to Jordan Bell. Before he became one of the steals of the draft this past year, he used to make his high school basketball coach go crazy because he would not take shots when he was open. So one day in practice when Jordan was in his junior year, the head coach stopped a scrimmage to make a new rule. In this team scrimmage, Jordan had to shoot every time he touched the ball for the next five minutes or the team had to run. And guess what? They had to run because Jordan did not want to shoot. Jordan Bell is quoted saying, we ran like 10 times. I just didn't want to shoot it. Finally, I just threw it up at the rim. I was like, here you go. In his senior year at Long Beach Poly High School, Jordan Bell almost averaged a double-double and was blocking about five shots per game. Markel Fultz played high school basketball at DeMatha Catholic High School. This is a pretty big school for basketball. Fultz was the 23rd graduate from DeMatha to be selected to the NBA draft, but it was not easy for him at first. As a ninth grader, Fultz did not get to try out for the varsity team. In his sophomore year, he did get a chance to try out, but he got cut and played JV again. Markel was just 5'9 at the time. Fultz was destroying every JV team he played, so the coach had no choice but to bring him up to varsity during the end of his sophomore year. What got him onto the national radar was a game against Jason Tatum's high school team and recording a triple-double against 2015 McDonald's All-American Isaiah Briscoe. And what set Washington apart from the other schools that were recruiting him was that it was the only school that did not miss a single one of Markell's AAU or high school games since the spring of his sophomore year. Kentucky made a late push, but Fultz decided to stay loyal to Washington, who stayed loyal to him at the beginning. So we just talked about how Markel Fultz didn't get onto the varsity team until the end of his sophomore year. Well, Josh Jackson immediately made noise at the varsity level when he was a freshman in Detroit, Michigan. His per game numbers as a freshman were 17 points, six rebounds, four assists, and four blocks. And in his sophomore year, he led his team to a state championship. Jackson moved to California before his junior year and bumped his averages up to 31 points and five assists. He was the co-MVP in the McDonald's All-American game, which capped off a pretty successful high school career. There was some debate on where to put Josh in the rankings. Some sites had him as the number one player in his class, but ESPN ranked him as the second best player in the class, right behind Harry Giles. Pistons rookie Luke Kennard had some of the best per game averages in high school that you will see on this list. He went to Franklin High School in Ohio and in his junior year, he averaged 41 points, 10 rebounds and four assists. Then in his senior year, he was putting up 31 points, 10 rebounds, six assists and stealing the ball about two times per game. He scored 50 points five times in his senior year. Luke finished his career ranked second in Ohio boys basketball history with 2,997 points and won Ohio Gatorade Player of the Year and Ohio's Mr. Basketball two times. Oh, and while he was dominating in basketball, he played quarterback for Franklin High School for three years. Dennis Smith Jr., the Mavs' eighth pick, he actually got injured before the start of his senior year because of a torn ACL and at the time of the injury, 24-7 sports had him ranked as the number one point guard in the 2016 class and that injury allowed other players to pass him in the rankings. But before the injury, he was doing well for himself at Trinity Christian School in North Carolina. He was dominating AAU tournaments and in his sophomore year, he was able to help his school win a state title. The next year as a junior, he won North Carolina's Gatorade Player of the Year. 
He was in talks with North Carolina, Kentucky, Wake Forest, and other schools, but he decided on NC State. Okay, so I wasn't really sure if I should put Ben Simmons in this video because he was drafted in 2015, but since he didn't play last year, he's technically a rookie, I decided why not, let's just have him in here. But when he was 16, he moved over to the United States to play against a higher level of competition, and by the time his junior year was over, he was established as the number one player in his class. A lot of scouting sites had him penned in as number one. He played at Montverde Academy and led them to three straight national tournament titles. He won all of the Player of the Year awards you could imagine, from Gatorade Player of the Year to Naismith Player of the Year, and he played in the All-American game. Ben Simmons finished the senior year, averaging 28 points, 12 rebounds, and 4 assists. And just like at the end of his junior year, every scouting site had him ranked as the number one player in the nation at the end of his senior year. Last on the list we have Lonzo Ball. I think most people who are still here watching are pretty familiar with Lonzo Ball's high school career. He had an amazing senior year at Chino Hills by leading them to an undefeated record of 35-0 and finishing the season off with a state title. Chino Hills played at an extremely high pace that was very hard to defend. Next to his two brothers Lomelo and Leangelo in his senior year, Lonzo averaged a triple-double and was named High School Basketball Player of the Year by a number of sites. And that is it for NBA rookies when they were in high school. Definitely some interesting stories. It's crazy how Donovan Mitchell wanted to play baseball over basketball in college and an injury basically changed his mind. I appreciate it if you made it to the end of the video. I will be dropping the what is Kobe Bryant's best season video soon. And there were some rookies I did not talk about on here, but the ones I talked about I found the most interesting. So I'll just see you guys in my next one.